Yes, the Spice Logic Decision Tree software can perform Monte Carlo simulation if you have random variable or probability distribution in any payoff. You won't need to set up anything special. As soon as the Decision Tree software will find a probability distribution in any of your payoff, it will perform the simulation automatically for you. You will see the result of the simulation in the Risk Profile chart. Also, you can select a node and see that node's specific simulation in the Node Analyzer panel. Let's model a simple example where we will define a random variable named Profit, which will consist of two random variables, Revenue and Cost. Say you already created a decision tree like this. Select this node and click this payoff button. SpiceLogic Decision Tree software lets you define a payoff in terms of single or multiple criteria. You can also choose to use cost effectiveness criteria, but we have a separate video for cost effectiveness analysis. In this video, we will focus on regular multi-criteria decision analysis. Click on the regular multi-criteria button. You will be asked to create your criteria. Create your first criteria, maximize revenue, then proceed. You can have various types of attributes like subjective type, number type, select the numerical type. You can define the range and proceed. Create your next criteria, minimize cost, and proceed. Select the numerical type and proceed. Here, you can define how these two criteria will be combined to get a single score for your option. You have a choice to use pairwise comparison, but to demonstrate the Monte Carlo simulation, I would take you to the Direct Custom Expression panel where you can define your expression directly. Set the expression as simple as revenue minus cost. Notice that you can drag and drop the variable and form sophisticated math expression. But let's keep it simple for this demo. Give a name of this expression as profit. Now proceed. In the decision tree, choose a probability distribution for revenue. Let's choose normal distribution. Now, choose a probability distribution for your cost variable as well. Let's use an exponential distribution. Okay. See, our formula for profit was revenue minus cost, where both of these variables are random variables. The Monte Carlo simulation takes samples from these probability distributions, and using our formula, it creates another probability distribution. See how the risk profile chart shows the result of Monte Carlo simulation as a probability distribution. Same as investment A, set payoff for investment B. Let's choose uniform distribution for revenue this time and a triangular distribution for the cost. You can view the cumulative distribution function or survival function from this result as well. Also, you can see the stochastic dominance from this result. You can change number of samples to take. You can also modify the bin size of your histogram. By default, the Monte Carlo simulation option is turned on for any scenario when a probability distribution is used. You could turn off that behavior completely by setting the drop-down box selection to not instantly, as you can see here. If you set it to not instantly, then you will see a button to execute the Monte Carlo simulation so that you can manually execute the Monte Carlo simulation whenever you wish. If you set the option to always instantly, then no matter if probability distribution is used or not, if there is at least a chance node in a decision tree, Monte Carlo simulation will be used to generate the risk profile. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach our help desk. Thank you for watching.